Hey everybody, Mad Muck here from Mad Muck's Game Room. Welcome to Game Room Hall number 31. And um, today, got a few really cool things. Um, a few games, a couple movies, and um, a couple of other ideas. So, let's just get into it. Uh, first off, the news bit, I guess. Um, not really much to say. Um, I am looking at uh, improving the game room by using um, RGB lights. Uh, just, you know, just a bit of fun, you know, add a bit of light into here, like colourful lights and all that kind of jazz. Um, and also working on another project for um, board gaming, on getting a, a board gaming table in here that I can use. Because I actually do like, in, I do enjoy playing board games, even if they are by myself. And um, I don't only like playing video games. so. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on something like that. Um, also, because I am a very uninteresting and sad person, I have made this. I got a black book, just a normal, you know, stationary book. And this is The Want Files. Yes. I know you're feeling sad for me right now, but I don't care. Um, this is probably what probably probably what you think it is it is a book that is essentially just a list of things that I want um, that can be games figurines anything I generally see that I don't have the money to get at the moment or an idea I have of something I want to get and um, I write it down so you know I don't forget it and if I'm looking for something I want to want to get I look through the book I can find something I initially made it for um, films, films and games, because usually when I go to a DVD store, um, especially like a second-hand store where they've got a whole bunch of old DVDs and games and stuff like that, I never really know what I'm looking for. So I'm just standing there staring at DVD cases, waiting for something to pop out at me. And um, usually when I get home and I'm, I watch a YouTube video of like a top 10 like horror movies or something like that. Um, I see one that I've seen at the secondhand store that I really want to watch and I was like, ah, oh, damn, I forgot about that one, you know? And also, um, it helps me remember what I actually have in my collection so I don't get double ups and um, some series or film series that I have I can complete. Um, so yeah, it's got a, a list of uh, films and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, so if I go out to like a DVD store and I don't know what I'm looking for, I look through the list and uh, hey, you never know, it makes things a bit better. It's, yeah, just something I do. Yeah, who knows, it may, uh, it may catch on. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, fine. Let's get into the Game Room Hall side of things. Um, first off, this was donated to me. Um, a friend of mine recently came back from uh, having good times over up in, uh, in Germany, uh, overseas. And uh, he came back, we we're looking to play a horror game. And obviously, everybody knows that this horror game is out. It is Resident Evil 7. Boom. He got Resident Evil 7 and he got this poster with it, which is a double-sided poster. Really groovy. It's folded, unfortunately. Um, but it is a really cool poster and he gave it to me. So I'm like, groovy. That's awesome. I'm going to flatten it out, put it in a frame. It'll look really good. So that's cool. That's really good. Um, I think I'll leave that for almost last. I have got three phones. First one, um, I got this, I don't know why I got this, I just like CGI type things, and um, I watched it, and you know, it's actually quite an entertaining film, I, I found it entertaining. Um, In the Heart of the Sea, with, uh, what's his name, Chris Hemsworth, and what was that dude's name, he's, he's freaking amazing, um, Uno Momento, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. Uh, Brendan Gleeson, that guy, yes, Brendan Gleeson, he is an amazing actor, like amazing actor, so 
it is just a really good film to watch. I enjoyed it. It's um, it's not like super actiony, and I mean the hunting of the whales is oh can be for some people a bit a bit ugh, gut wrenching to watch because it's you know yeah anyway not going to get into that. Let's this is a good film. I, I recommend it to anyone who likes uh, the Moby Dick book. Um, I. I've never read the book. I, gen I don't even think I've seen a film of Moby Dick. Maybe you've seen a, a couple of minutes or something. But uh, yeah, this is uh, I think the origin story of what? It is the story that Moby Dick was based on. If that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, that, that film. Good film. Um, I finally got this film. I finally watched it. That's alright. It's a fun, it's a, it's a fun, good film to watch. The Lego Movie. Yes, it has taken me this long to watch this film. Yes, but now I have it. Um, it is good fun. Um, so, yeah, kind of am looking forward to the, uh, the Batman Lego Movie uh, because that's Batman's pretty freaking cool in here. I mean, Batman's always freaking cool in here. So, uh, yeah, got the Lego Movie now. So happy about that. Had a few people on my back about getting that one and watching it, so I've watched it now, mm -hmm. and now I own it. Big deal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got this film because I wanted to watch it. I really wanted to watch it, but I still haven't watched it. <laughs> it's been like two weeks, and I, I own it now, and I still haven't watched it. X-Men Apocalypse. Um, yeah, this is a single dick... Bless. Single dick edition. Be it. Single disc edition, all right. I would love to get the special edition, which has got the Blu-ray. I do not need. Did this come out in 3D? If it came out in 3D, then there's there is an edition with with all of them. You know, it's got um, what is it? DVD, Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, and 4K. Was it 4K 3D? I don't freaking know. But it's one with like five freaking discs. I want it. Probably never gonna watch it all in all of those formats, but that's a cool collector's edition and it's got a steel book. Pretty sure that one had a steel book. Either that or it has the cardboard casing with really cool artwork on it. So I want that. That's gonna go in the want files. That's right. That's right. You see this is how it works. This is how it works. Now your mind is going that's amazing. It's not really it's just me being boring and uninteresting. Anyway I want to watch this. Um, it looks flashy. So, yeah. Right, those are all the films I got. Um, going into games, I did get a cool collector's pack for games. Um, I've been told that this wasn't very well received, but uh, I don't have any version of this game in any of its series. Uh, so, this was cheap. It came with a buy one, get one free deal. And I got another game that I really wanted, um, so I got this one for free, pretty much. It is Star Fox Zero, first print edition. Yeah, collector's box. Now, this comes with... I, I don't know much about Star Fox, except it's that polygon... It's a game. Uh, you get Star Fox Zero, Star Fox Zero. Uh, very important thing to have. Is the game um, Star Fox Guard? I don't know what this is. I guess it's another game, maybe. And a really cool steelbook. I can at least get up close and personal. Look at that! Isn't that cool? And on the inside, it's got like schematics of the ship. It's really cool, right? Yeah. Can't be a collector's pack because there's no art book. Yeah, that's right. You remember, remember last time I said it's not a collector's pack if you don't have an art book. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, I got that. Yeah. Which is really cool. I don't have many games for the Wii U, and uh, it's just another addition to my collection. So there's that. Um, I'll have that one later. I got this, I played this, it's freaking awesome, it is so much fun, steep, for PS4. 
This is the game that uh, has paragliding, skiing, snowboarding, and wingsuit. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love um, snowboarding games like this, and this is a, just a complete open world awesomeness. And it's got a lot of, like, um, collectible things that, uh, you know, it's like a scavenger hunt type thing. And I just love it when an open world has things where you like, you know, you have to explore the world to, to find all these things. It's really cool. It is good, just good fun. It is really good fun. Um, you can play it, well, you need online capability to play it, I think. Yes, online connection required. And, uh, you know, play with people around the world. Um, so yeah, I, rec I recommend this for anyone who likes snowboarding games and um, just like, you know, mindless sandbox, sandbox, god, I'm just, whatever, sandbox games, um, because this, this is just good fun, I, I really enjoy this, it is really good fun, yeah, groovy, actually, hang on, no, never mind, never mind, we're good, um, I got, this was the other game that I got, uh, buy one get one free I bought this one now you will probably remember from I think it's my last game room haul I already have this quantum break yeah this is the Xbox one game the Xbox one version um, I got um, another copy of the special like collectors bot what the timeless timeless collectors edition for PC now, I loaded that onto my PC, and I think I said last time, yeah, it took like 20 hours to load it onto the PC. Um, because my PC is not great, it really is not great, um, I either get to play it with amazing graphics, but I get a frame a minute. It's flipping unplayable. Or I can play it in original Star Fox graphics, and have beautiful frame rate so uh, I can't get a good medium going on there and I really want to play this like you know with smooth stuff I don't want to have annoying little interruptions like frame rate drop and and just like crappy graphics that will distract me out of the story because same guys that made Alan Wake one of my favorite all-time favorite games and um, I'm hoping this has got a good story in it and I want to play it and get immersed into it. I don't want to, you know, get like taken out of the story by a flipping like two frames per second. Um, I do one day want to get a a decent gaming PC. Um, it, it will happen. It will happen one day. I just needed a PC for um, editing and stuff like that. Uh, so gaming really wasn't, you know, in my mind when I needed a PC. Uh, although I do have the gaming laptop, which I do need to get a solid state drive just to make it a bit better, give it a bit more upgrades, make it a bit more, Woo! that was close, make it, um, give it a bit more oomph, you know, just so that it can play games like that at, um, like good quality. So yeah, Quantum Break, really good for the Xbox One, I'm hoping if the Xbox One can play it, good stuff. And if it doesn't play it, then I'll just blame the Xbox One like I do with everything. Because it really is just terrible. I need to get an Xbox One S. That's apparently better. Um, a PS4 Pro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, let me, let me just say something about the PS4 Pro just real quick. My friend who came back from overseas got a PS4 for um, Resident Evil 7. Now, it's a cool console, alright? It is bigger than the original PS4. No problem. It's, it's a really good console. It runs well. The only problem I have with it, that's a really little nitpicky little problem, is every PlayStation, except for the first one. I think the first one still has the Transformer, unless it's the, the big edition I don't, I don't remember but definitely ps2 ps3 and ps4 the original ps4 the psp and yes even the ps vita that's five consoles 
All right, five consoles. Use one power cable. The power cable is identical. That, that's the power cable that plugs into the wall. All right, don't, don't like crucify me for the, the PSP and PS Vita because those plug out of the transformer for them, okay? But it's the same power plug, the same power plug connection that goes into the back of the PlayStation for, for the past five consoles. And then they brought out the PS4 and they changed it. They changed it. Bastards. That's not cool. That is not cool. But still, I want to get a PS4 because I want to, you know, it's better. It is cool. I've got no problem with mine. Mine works fine. But PS4 Pro might be something I get in the future. Uh, wait for it to, like, steeply drop in price. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Definitely want to get an Xbox One S, though. Because, uh, let's face it, the Xbox One is just, just terrible. Um, this came out the other day. Yes, Sniper Elite 4. This is the limited edition. Um, I think they called it the day one edition. I don't freaking know. Um, I thought, like, when I pre-ordered this, I thought I was getting, like, a collector's pack. I thought I was going to get, like, a little goodie with it. But, uh, nope. I just got the game. The limited edition comes with, uh, two DLCs. The Target Fuhrer, um, mission, I guess. And the Camo, Camo Rifle Skins. That's all. And the game. That's all. There's no special casing. Um, no, like, special artwork. No no art book. Mm -hmm. um, I did see one collector's pack. I can't remember where I saw it. But I did see one where you get a papercraft rifle. I freaking want that. That's awesome. That's a full-size, one-to-one scale. I don't know what rifle it is, but... It's a papercraft rifle. You can freaking make a rifle out of paper. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. And it would have been better than what just this. You know, you just you just get the game. That's um kind of like, you know, pitiful. Good game though, good game. I've um been playing the first mission. I haven't finished the first mission, but from what I have played, it's good fun. Good fun. Very similar to Sniper Elite 3 so far. I haven't found many big differences except the X-ray cam is um more detailed and uh yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying it i'm i'm going to enjoy playing this i really am and like i said before i want to um, get all the sniper elites on pc just you know so i can play with friends uh yeah cool stuff cool stuff not that you can't play that on online with friends it's just i have one friend that has a ps4 and uh he doesn't play sniper elite so yeah, I have more friends on, on Steam that play those type of games. Anyway, um, this, I'll leave this one for now. We will, uh, boom, that's right, got me another Pokemon booster pack. I got, uh, I could have got the Sun and Moon booster pack, but, uh, you know, I didn't. I got the Evolutions one. Um, life's tough sometimes, you know, you've, you just don't get what you want. Um, this is exactly what I wanted, it may not be one you wanted, but, uh, you know, you've just got to deal with it. Just deal with it. And, uh, let's see what we get this time around. I got the X, X and Y uh, Evolutions one because, um, I like the original cards. I really do, because it's now nostalgia. It's got a bunch of nostalgia with them. Um, okay, is it that one? Oh, oh, I see something nice. I don't think I've got a really good card, but anyway, first off, we have got Rotata. Yeah, that's groovy. Got many of those, got many of these. Wheel, yay. This is not great. <laughs> this is not starting off good. Polywag, got many of those. I'm going to say i got many of these, these are the original cards. Uh, God, again. Voltorb, got a few of those. Man, seriously, oh, come on. Ghastly, I mean, I love Ghastly. He's freaking awesome. Got many of those. Oh, nice. Um, oh, you're freaking kidding me. God damn it. If anyone's a, uh, a Game Grumps fan, you'll you'll get this. But I got this one, which is a uh, uncommon but reverse holographic Poliwhirl. 
that's really cool. I like these reverse holographic ones. They've probably got no extra value to them, but well, whatever. This, yep. So the rare one I got in this is just a rare one. It's not holographic. It's nothing special. But, goddamn Beedrill. Come on. Beedrill, man. Why? Okay. And then I got Porygon. That's cool. Oh, that's a bit of a freaking pain in the ass. Why didn't you give me the freaking Pidgeot X? Okay, anyway, um, I've got the Pidgeot's Pidgeot Spirit Link training card. And I've got Weedle and Beedrill, so why the hell not? Metapod, the most annoying, the most annoying Pokemon in the original games. Harden. Does he have Harden in this one? No, no. Stiffen. He has fucking Stiffen. Seriously? <laughs> anyway. That's cool. Okay, so, nothing great, unfortunate, but, you know, still, it's addition, and I like the polywheel, the, the blue um, reverse holographic, I don't know if, if you can actually, like, like, get a good look at that, can I get that right? Just the blue, the blue looks freaking awesome with reverse holographic, so that's, that's alright, I'll live with that. Um, okay, so this will take us right into the uh, the digital haul because I got this game, I got the physical copy, and I couldn't wait for the physical copy to get here. So I found it online with um, GOG.com, I think, which is like a like Steam. I guess you can find computer games on there, buy them, install them. And I found this one for like five bucks. So Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Emperor's Tomb? Yes, the Emperor's, Emperor's Tomb. This is for the original Xbox. While this was on its way here, I went. I got it on PC. So now I've got this on the Xbox and i got it on PC. I've been playing it on PC. Um, it is a fun game. This is a fun game. Like, even though it's, it's old and the graphics aren't exactly amazing, it is just really fun to play. Like, the controls are actually pretty, pretty good. They're, they're not like janky and really hard to control. It's it's just, it's fun. It's a really fun game. Puzzle solving, you know, a bit of action going in there. It's it's Indiana Jones, man. Um, there's this one and there's Staff of the Kings, which is on PS2, which I want to get. Um, it's about 30 bucks. Uh, just 30 bucks without shipping. Um, which is uh, it's a bit pricey at the moment um, with other things that I'm, I'm dealing with But um, I will get it in the future. I'll, I definitely will get it But I'm glad to have this one because I remember playing um, some of this ages ago and um, I think I played it on PS2 or maybe it was PC. I'm pretty sure it was PS2 though and uh, I don't even know if you can get it on PS2, but whatever. I remember playing it ages ago and um, I have current. I never finished it, um, and I have currently just passed the point that I previously got furthest in. Yes, I am now the furthest in this game that I have ever been. There we go. That seems makes sense. I think. Anyway. Yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, now I have Indiana Jones on PC, um, and I have one, <laughs> one other game on PC, oh, yeah, alright, um, I saw this game, the reviews of it is just horrible, alright, they say it's just absolutely terrible, but I saw this and I couldn't pass it up, it was like two bucks, and I was just like, why the hell not? It is on Steam, and it is Bloody Boobs. <laughs> it is freaking so bad. It is, it is just terrible. Like, the controls are not as bad as people say, alright? The controls are not, don't make it, like, unplayable. It is playable. It's just, <laughs> it is just, a stupid game, just so stupid. You're like a um, a scantily clad, big-breasted bimbo, 
And um, I say bimbo because, yeah, from the speech and stuff of all this, no, there ain't nothing knocking around between the ears. Um, but, uh, yeah, your goal is to, like, I don't know, um, pray at altars and escape before you are sacrificed? Uh, it's, it's completely stupid, but yeah, I got it. I'm a dude. So, <laughs> so it's, it is a, um, just a stupid game. All right, but I've got it now. So I haven't played much of it, but I want to play a bit more of it because it's, I, I want to see how stupid it actually gets. Right. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much everything for this time around in the game room hall. Um... Now, you'll probably know that I have uh, put out a couple of um, gaming videos, uh, uh, whatever the title is, and uh, yeah, yeah, those, those were kind of fun. Um, it is a bit difficult to record games at the moment because I don't have a, a TV or, or a screen to play the games on while I'm recording them. It, it does make it a little bit diff difficult, and there's also, with all the cables and, and shit, there's a... My recording setup needs to be sorted out, and what I've got at the moment, there's usually a lot of interference, and it's hard to get the, the volume of speech and game and syncing and all, all that kind of crap. It, it, just, it just makes it into a flipping headache, so that's why it doesn't really have um, great quality, but I'm going to try and put out a few more videos, um, like keep it going. So uh, yeah, hopefully I look forward to that. Otherwise... Thanks for watching guys, I've been Mad Muck from Mad Muck's Game Room, and uh, that has been another Game Room haul. Some groovy stuff, games to be added, and uh, join me next time, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.